Hi friend, this sheet is on construction and material on a topic types of arches. Do you know that the arches are used as a span in which the span you know that the span load you bear the load of the superstructure. The structure upward to the span is bear by the arches also. Because the strength of the arches are greater than the our arching slab other type of slabs also then see that there are type of arches in first arch is flat arch in which we use the shape of a triangle you know that the triangle is a more sustainable structure and the, in this time we use the triangular shape in trusses also for increasing the strength of the structure and there we use this is a horseshoe arch Horseshoe are the part of the circle in which there is a circle and then we cut out a arc from it and all this part we use as making a arc. It contains a radius also. This see that. What is it? It also a segmental arch when we cut a part from a circle like this type of arch we cut out from it and make arch on it then it is called as segmental arch there is a semicircular arch semicircular arch is when it when we cut a part from circle or cut a circle into half exactly half of the circle or it is known as semicircular arch what is equilateral arch first we make post and then make a or assume a equilateral triangle in it after assuming the triangle what we do take compass there and make a arc take compass there and so make sand and make a arc by this we also give it a thickness this type of arch are known as equilateral triangle arch See there? It, this type of arch is known as isosceles arch because the, these do two ends or these two sides are equal to each other but this side is different from this the dimension of the side is not equal to the both of them and the angle used there are equal to each other also the come there the arch is also divided according to the centers used to make a arc this type of arch in which four centers are used and the arch is made with the help of triangles are called as vanishing arch and this type of arch in this with three centers are used O1, O2 and O3 and it is in the shape of circle this type of arch is known as Florentine arch there the arch is made or constructed in which the bottom part is made up of wooden lintel and then a stone, stone core in which we use stone and the upper part is made up of brick this type of arch is known as relieving arch and then a simple arch is made with a semicircular arch is used there and one center is used there and only O oh, single center is used the simplest form of the arch is known as stilted arch you also see the other arches according to the center see that there the whole circle is used there for making an arch this type of arch is used as or called as bull's eye arch let's move further this sheet or this arch this arch is having or contains three points or contain three centers by which you see that there are two center located at this straight line it means is also called as elliptical arch because the ellipse is also in the shape of this also having two focuses how to construct a three center arch or elliptical arch let's do it make post after making the post 
take a distance let the distance distance be 12 hmm, maybe 1200 mm and after that divide these 166 part 166 part and between this is 2 to 3 it means this part is of 200 mm this part is of 200 mm and the bottom part is of 1800 mm or maybe 800 800 mm and then what we have to do make a center there that will be O1 and it will be O2 take distance between this take O1 as center make all this take O2 as center make all this make an angle or pass a line from O1 at the angle of 60 degree pass it there and at 60 degree you see that the both the lines are crossing there you find the center third center take O3 as center and make a arc there which connecting the two arches make the step by increasing the thickness repeat the step but take thickness also you vary the thickness by varying the thickness you give thickness to the arch by which this method you got three centered arch or elliptical arch let's move further there are four centered arch how to consider a four centered arch for making a four centered arch you have to make post first then divide the, let it be 1200 mm and then you have to divide the arch into 1 to 4 1 to 4 and 1 to 2 it means the distance take with there is 1 to 4 is 300 mm is 600 mm by 300 mm Conduct the points there and there you take the point center O1 and O2 you got the two centers O1 and O2 and then find the two centers also make a line at the angle of 45 degree this angle be 45 degree after crossing the line from both the centers at the angle of 45 degree not cross the line there make a vertical downward line from the center which crosses the lines at this level you got two other centers O3 and O4 after finding a center what you do take O1 center make R take O2 center and make R then make a perpendicular line take O4 as center and make the arch from left side take O3 as center and make arc from right side the arc come out from it is like that and you also give thickness to it by repeating the steps with other radius by this method you construct four center arch or tudor arch this move forward there are also a 5 centered arch or semi elliptical arch how to construct a semi elliptical arch first of all make post after any post you have to divide the line or the span into one to 3 one to 2 and one to 6 of ratio like we divide this ratio in ellipse also the ratio is 1 to 6, 2 to 3, and 1 to 6. Let the dimension or length of the span be 1200 mm. Project these points, find the O1 and O2, the two centers, and we have to find the other centers. How to find the centers also? Pass a line at the angle of 60 degree from the first center, O1 pass another line from O2 at the angle of 60 degree and you find the center there 
then what you have to do you have to make a arc from o1 from downward and also make another arc from the end of the starting right starting and make a arc taking o1 center then take o2 as center and make a arc from o1 and then make a arc from first left end you see that this cross thing each other after that what you have to do what you have to do further you have to divide this angle into three equal parts it means the 60 angle used there and 60 angle used there it means the remaining 20 20 and 20 degree there then pass a line or from the to at the angle of 20 degree After that, you see that the intersection point are come there, by which we get O4, O2, and center point is our O4, one, two, ये रख four और ये this is O5. How to make center? Take O1 center, make a arc there at the angle of 60 degree. Take O2 center, make a arc there. See that the line comes out there. We divide this center angle into three equal parts. Then take O5 center and make arc there. Take O4 as center and make arc there. And take O3 as center and make the arc of this center with join the, all the arcs. And also give thickness by repeating the steps of making the arc of. You see that this is a five centered arc. Also known as semi-elliptical arc, the method by which we can construct an arc is known as timber in centering. But means we have to construct an arc. It means we have to centering a arc. The method of constructing an arc is centering, by which we can construct an arc properly. This is elevation of the method of the arc. And this is the section we cut out from there, A A dash, and it is the isometric view of this centering. And you also having some queries, so go on and on my blog and post your queries or for other videos related to it or other or architecture. Go on YouTube on my channel, Rohit Nath Singh Chaudhary. Hi friends, I am Rohit Nath Singh Chaudhary, and you also watch my other videos on YouTube. And there are some example of shoes are also there, so you can search my other videos on my channel, Rohit Nath Singh Chaudhary on YouTube.com.